Okay, we've got another Power Query challenge here. We're transforming this table up here into this table down here. So let's take the data, copy, and put it into this Excel worksheet. Um, so this seems to be a fairly kind of standard pivot table approach. We're basically collapsing all of this data into these value cells. In fact, let's color them. That's one section, and then we've got column totals and that's probably a fast way for me to color things we've got row totals and we've got a grand total so there's kind of four pieces there and that's the way I'm going to kind of work through this so let's start um, by bringing the data into Power Query take off the change type I'm going to do most of this in the advanced editor See if I can remember what I'm doing. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> so um, the first thing we need to do is to unpivot the data. So let's um, let's call that unpivot, unpivot, and table unpivot, uh, unpivot other columns, and we want to unpivot the source table and the pivot columns we want to keep static our item and the attribute column we are going to call uh, year month and the value column just value and that's unpivot so let's see what that looks like okay so now what in order to um, in order to get these totals like this we need to have a year to sum to. So let's uh, let's add a column and call it add year and we'll do table add column to unpivot and call it year and it will be the function will be each text dot start year month four because it's the first four characters of the year month column. So that's the year column. Okay, so now we've got this, we can do some uh, summing and, yeah, summing at different levels of detail. So we'll need to sum by item as one table, we'll need to sum by year as another table, and we'll need to do a grand total as another table. So we can do those all uh, with, um, let's see, uh, row totals we can do those all with table group and we're always going to be doing uh, grouping add year and in this case we are to get the row totals we're grouping by item and the, f the aggregated columns in this case uh, we're going to call the new column value for reasons that will become clear and the function is going to be uh, each list dot sum sum the value column within each group Okay, so let's look and see what that's done before moving on. Row totals. Okay, so that's got row totals, item, value. Okay. So now we can do the same for column totals. In fact, it's so similar, we can copy and paste. But instead of item, it's going to be year. And that's actually it, col totals. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's the sums by year. Now, one thing you may notice is that this statement is the same as this, except for the grouping field. So let's create a custom function to simplify. And we'll call it uh, function sum value by. Um, and the, the, that function will take a group by parameter and the definition of the function will just be whatever we've got here but instead of the word item here we'll take group by we'll put put group by I should say and which means that here we'll have function function some value value by item and here we'll have function some value by year and just to check that it still works 
Yep, we've got the column totals, which is the sum by year, the row totals, which is the sum by item. Now we need a grand total as well. So let's try and create that. And the grand total, let's see if this works. I suspect it won't. Sum value by, now grand total, if we want to use this same uh, statement, we would actually just have an, what we'd have here is this. So an empty uh, set of curly braces. So um, let's try putting nothing in here. Uh, I think we would need to put optional as the parameter. Um, and let's see, it's not, it's not plural, grand total. Let's see if it works. I suspect it won't. Okay, we can't convert, can't convert the value null to type text. Makes sense. Because when you um, don't provide an optional parameter, the value that it actually puts in that parameter is null. So what we're actually ending up with for the grand total is this. Uh, we don't want that. We want um, empty braces. So let's put if group by equals null, then empty braces. Otherwise, however it was before. So that gives us the grand total, 268, which is the number that we've got here. Okay, good. Um, we've got row totals, column totals, and grand totals. The next thing is to put them all together. Table combine, and it accepts a list of table names. So we'll have add year, and row totals, and col total, totals, and the grand total. That's now combined, and you can see here that um, the row totals are here, they've got the item, the column totals are here, they've got the year, no item, and the grand total is here, which doesn't have either. What's happened to my mouse? Uh, okay, so what we actually need to do in order to, what I want to do is pivot this year column onto the columns, but in order to do that, we need to have a value here. Uh, and in order for this to properly show the column total, we need to have a value here as well. So we can make changes to individual columns um, in place without adding a new column by using table.transform columns. And I'll do that now. So um, transform columns, calls, table transform columns. And the table we're transforming is combined. And the transform operations is a list of lists. And each sub list represents the one of the columns that you want to transform. So in this case, we are going to first transform the item column and we're gonna say each, if the item column is null, then we're gonna put the word total in there. Otherwise, we're gonna put whatever the value is in the item column. And similarly, in the year column, we're going to say each if we're going to put uh, till date total. I think that's what it said. Okay, so these are, these are actually the same, same statement, aren't they? So let's, uh, let's very quickly create a function. Now, what, what you should know, I mean, we don't have to create a function, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to kind of talk about it. What you should know is that um, when you put the word each here, it's actually equivalent to a parameter called underscore, which is, which depending on the function that you use it in, it um, takes a different value. So in transform columns, um, this underscore represents a a row or a record in that column in that table. So that's why we're able to say if the record is null, then put total, otherwise put the record value. Um, so so this, this function in each of these sublists is a function of a single parameter that is the argument which is taken from that column. So what we need is a function fill col. We need a function of one parameter um, which is def which is configured 
with uh, a piece of text here. So this is the value in the then part of the if then else statement. And um, this is the only thing that's different between these two. So if we can create a function up here that configures a function that can be passed into the second part of this sublist, um, we can simplify things a little bit. So the if null will be that piece of text and that itself will create another function which accepts the argument from the current row of the column that's being transformed. Now that's a bit of a mouthful, but let's just, um, I'll just show you how it works. So we'll say if arg equals null, then if null. So that's the, that's the text that you pass in. Otherwise, arg. Um, and that way, instead of all this, you don't need to put the word each. You just put function fill col and total. And remember, because this is a curried function, passing the first parameter in actually creates this function. So this function is then the function that's going into the transform columns. Uh, it just so, so happens that if you put the word total there, if null will equal total. And if you put till date total, if not, if null will equal till date total. Um, I'll show you how it works. Fill call and close that. Bit of overkill maybe, but if it's good to it's good to understand how to do this kind of thing. And if you wanted to do this for lots of columns at once, this kind of makes it a bit easier, I think. Um, so the output we want is actually transform calls. So what's that? What that's done is it's put till date total in each. Uh, year row which was previously null and it's put the word total in each item row which was previously null uh, now one thing we are just missing is ah i didn't see that at the beginning so these actually need the word total after the year um let's see we can go all the way back and just uh, i don't want to change it at the beginning so we added a column here, which was text.start year month four. And if we just put the word total into where it was originally created, it, it should then filter through to the end. So now we've got all the totals. Um, we've got the column totals. We've got the grand total. Now uh, this one, yeah, this is fine. So now this is actually super easy now. Um, because I've done the rest of it in the advanced editor, so I'll do this next part as well. We want to get rid of the year month column, remove year month, and we want to do table remove columns from transform calls. We want to remove year month, remove year month. We're going to get rid of year month and then we've now got item value and year. And because I can never remember the syntax of this next step, I'm going to do it with the UI, but essentially going to pivot the year column. Pivot the year column, the values are there. And we want to sum the value uh, for each unique combination of item and year. And you can see that that has actually given us exactly what we need for the challenge. So we can close and load to and existing worksheet and put it right next to the expected output. Click OK and do an equality check, which will be just those equal to that. And you can see that it's all true. So that's finished. I hope you enjoyed it. That's the end of the video.